if you need to migrate a catalog of images to Capture One, Avalanche is really the way to go. In this short video, we'll show you all the details you need to know about how to do it and what kind of results you can expect. Let's get started. When you launch Avalanche for Capture One, you'll be presented with a screen where you see all your connected drives and all the available catalogs that are ready to be exported. We support the following types, Aperture Libraries, Lightroom Catalogs, um, Luminar 4, Luminar AI, Migrated Aperture Libraries. So you can either select one catalog from that list or you can also drag and drop uh, it directly from the finder. Avalanche will analyze the data that it finds in the catalog and will present you with a, a number of options. So in, in that case, you can see the, the small catalog, um, which I choose to convert now. And these are all the available options if I choose Capture One. The most important options are, are regarding the way we handle the content to export. So for example, you can choose to ignore videos uh, you can decide what to do with the master files, whether you should leave them where they are or whether you want to actually consolidate them and copy them all in a, in a new location. Uh, here I'm going to choose not to copy the reference master files, so I leave them where they are. Um, then you can choose also how to reproduce the, the source hierarchy, so that, that's the albums, the folders. Um, we recommend that you try to reproduce the source hierarchy because You'll, you'll get a result that really matches what you had in the source. You can also then choose what happens when you copy those master files, um, how to organize them, how to put them into folders. So you can see there are a number of options here, uh, either put all the masters by projects or put them by year, by month, year, month, day, etc., etc. So this is, this is all uh, available. You can choose the version uh, you want to export to. We recommend the latest. And then you can choose what happens with the uh, version name. So Capture One doesn't have the concept of a version name, uh, whereas Aperture or Lightroom have that concept. So what happens to that uh, very important piece of information that you might have put in the version name? Well, well, you can choose to actually copy it to Capture One in a dedicated field, which is the IPTC status field. So I can select this option. Um, then there's a number of options related to previews. We have a dedicated uh, videos uh, regarding previews and I really recommend that you have a look at it because there are a number of things you can do with previews. Um, basically previews allow you to um, migrate a very accurate version of, the, um, of your edits through a JPEG that is going to be a companion of the master file that you migrate. And finally, the last piece of information regards GPS information. It's uh, um, a setting that is very specific to Capture One. Um, Capture One doesn't um, copy GPS information across if that information has been set manually in uh, uh, Aperture or Lightroom. So for example, if you set your GPS through the map in Aperture, this information is not going to flow into Capture One because Capture One relies on the GPS being burned into the master. So we, we allow this option here you can choose to burn GPS information into the master, but we only allow it for uh, masters that you copy across because we don't want to touch any of your orig originals. Next, I'm going to choose where I want to export that, uh, that new catalog. So here I brought through for a location and then I hit the convert button. While the conversion is taking place, what happens is it's going to read through all the masters, the versions, all the structure of the catalog, and will create a brand new Capture One catalog that um, reproduces that source. And this catalog is ready to be opened. As you can see, the result is, is uh, displayed here. There are 90 versions that have been successfully migrated, 67 masters. And um, I can just open the catalog by clicking on the Open Catalog button. This will launch Capture One with the brand new catalog as if it would have been created in Capture One itself. Let's review the results. 
first of all, the, my original structure is maintained here. I see my albums and I see uh, uh, my folders with uh, additional albums here. Uh, there are also some new albums that were created by Avalanche. Um, one of them is called Approximate Conversion. It contains all the images for which Avalanche thinks that the conversion was not that great, was approximate. Then there is a lossy conversion, and this is really a folder that you should have a look at because it contains all the images for which we really think that the conversion was lossy. We've lost some information, either because you had some very advanced settings that we could not reproduce, etc. So please have a look at those images. And then there is a third folder called Migrated Previews. This is where we have um, copied all the preview images that we migrated. Um, so these images might not be of the same size as the original, but, but they are very accurate. They really reproduce um, the, um, the original intent. So if I look at all my images together, and I sort them by date, you will see next to each other the master with the applied uh, uh, migrated settings that Avalanche has computed, and next to it you have the preview. Uh, which has the uh, which is the very accurate version of um, of the original, but it's it's a JPEG, so it can't really be edited any further. So this makes it really easy to um, uh, to actually see all your results. And as you can see, also all the folder structure is intact here. My masters were are in their original location, and I can really uh, browse through my catalog as if I would have created it in Capture One in the first place. So we really hope this video was useful and, and gave you a, a good overview of what Avalanche is capable of doing. And we look forward to uh, showing you more, uh, more information in upcoming videos. So please subscribe to our channel and, uh, and happy shooting.